This particular color is a chartreuse shine. It's that one right there. It's about two and a half inches long. And if you can see, there's a little vein um, coming down about an inch down. And what you want to do is uh, you can split shot them, drop, uh, drop shot them, or you could also stick them on a, on a jig head like this one. This one's a 32nd ounce, and you could also use a 16th ounce as well. And what I do is if I'm fishing uh, 10 feet or less, I'll use a 32nd ounce because it's a little lighter. If it's deeper than 10 feet or, or with um, current or moving water, uh, you'd want to use a 16th ounce, which is a little heavier. And what I'm going to do, if you look at this, you'll see the trout worm. Right above the vein, I'm going to just pinch it off. I'm going to pinch off about half an inch of a trout worm. Put it in my pocket. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the jig head. I just took this jig off one of our little rippers. And you're going to insert the hook on the top of the worm, right in the middle. Get as close to the middle as you possibly can. Just got to bug my eye. <laughs> you stick it in just like that. You pull down. Keep threading it down. So it's about, uh, you're probably going down about half an inch. And then you pull it out, just like that. And then you thread it all the way up. So now you have that. Make sure it's completely straight so it doesn't kill the action. And if you look in the water right here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but you'll see what it does. Each time I bounce my rod tip, it's kicking the worm up and down like that. Nice erratic action. That's going to really drive the fish crazy. And I'll show you exactly how to use them. You pretty much uh, use the same technique for uh, the same technique jigging as you do with the drop shots or the split shots as well. You just saw Nick catch that big fish. Um, he used a trout worm. He used a whole one, but but fish split shot it. Toss it out there. You're going to let it sink near the bottom. Um, if there's a lot of, uh, if you look in this water, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of, you know, branches and grass, and you don't want it to, to actually hit the bottom so it gets stuck in that. So let it sink a couple seconds, and if you look, I'm bouncing my rod tip up and down real slow, and really lean just fast enough to keep all the slack out of my line. And you want to be able to, to feel exactly what you're, what your worm's doing under there at all times. A real lightweight rod. A lot of the higher end rods too. I mean, you'll catch a lot more fish with the higher end rods. You just have so much more feel. Just let it sink. Bounce your rod tip up and down. And a lot of times you'll want to, um, a lot of times the fish, when they're real finicky, They'll just kind of, they'll hit it and they'll sit there. Um, or sometimes they hit it and run with it, but as you're bouncing a rod tip, you can't really feel it. So what's a good tip is to watch your line. Um, if you see your line doing anything, but we're going up and down in a straight line, that means you're getting bit. Like your line will shoot left real quick or shoot right. So just reel down and, and set the hook. I'm gonna try one more cast. And what, I, what I'm doing is if I'm fishing the shore, uh, just like right now, you want to fan cast it. You want to hit that spot, then 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 that spot until you start finding the fish and seeing what's worked for you. So bouncing my rod tip up and down, bring it in really, really slow. And if they're not hitting a particular color, you definitely want to switch. Keep switching up until you find what they like. Earlier we were fishing um, the zebra colored trout worm, which was, it was probably hot for good, probably a good 10 minutes. Then the, the fish just kind of completely went off that color. And then earlier in the day we were fishing, um, we were fishing the, I believe it was the orange silver trout worm, just nailing them. And then, you know, the bite shut down, so we switched over to the new color and then the new color. And as long as you're switching colors, you're typically getting to it. Like you'll catch three fish and then all of a sudden they'll just stop biting. So you switch to that new color then, you know, next thing you know you just have a wide open bite because you switch colors again. Real easy to fish and you catch a lot of them. Catch a lot of big ones too. And again, that's the lip rippers trout worm.